heard it right. This is the last edition of the Obama administration's West Wing Week. Thank you for joining us on this journey that has spanned 388 episodes. We've genuinely enjoyed showing you everything that's happened here at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Our farewell episode begins in the East Room with the first of many goodbyes, this one with the White House resident staff, who have made the People's House not just a home for the Obama family, but for more visitors than any other president. Then it was time for a final presidential trip home to Chicago, starting off with a goodbye to Andrews Air Force Base to thank the crew members of Air Force One. In Chicago, the first stop was an old haunt from the pre-presidential days in Hyde Park, the Lloyd's Restaurant, Thank you for your service. where we sat down with an interview with Lester Holt. I really enjoyed the conversation. Thank then you, it was on to McCormick Place to address the 18,000 people gathered to hear his farewell address to the nation. Yes, we can. Yes, we did. Yes, we can. Thank you. God bless you. May God continue to bless the United States of America. On a surprisingly balmy Thursday, the president said goodbye and thank you to the men and women of the Uniform Division of the United States Secret Service. He also said goodbye to the professionals at the newly created U.S. Digital Service, who brought their technical expertise to agencies across the federal government. Later, in the state dining room, staffers and family gathered to honor Vice President Joe Biden. Little did the VP know what the president had in store for him, the highest civilian honor that a president can grant, the Medal of Freedom, with distinction. On his last full Friday in office, the president sat down for lunch with some authors and discussed it in his last print interview. Then the president made history at the very last minute by taping the first weekly address recorded in the Oval Office. This week, on Monday, the president and first lady invited the World Series champion Chicago Cubs to the White House. This team means so much to me personally because it was the team that connected me and my dad. Because when I was a kid, at 3.30 after school, I'd come home, the Cubs would be playing, I usually get them in the first inning. Jose Cardinal will be coming up to bat, who was my favorite player. I wore my afro like him with my baseball. <laughs> then it was on to their last service project at the Jobs Have Priority Naylor Road Family Shelter where they pitched in on painting a mural before visiting the new home for the playground they installed outside the Oval Office hey eight years ago. Brings back memories. This is about how big Sasha was when we showed up. This is about this big. Hey! On Tuesday, the president continued his so longs and farewells, first with the White House Medical Unit, then with the staff of the General Services Administration. John, John, thank you so much. Then I took the podium for my last briefing, but little did I know, I would be part of the president's goodbye tour that day. He was always prepared. He was always courteous. He always tried to make sure that uh, he could share with you as much of our thinking and our policy our uh, vision as possible. So, Josh, the right way. Later, the president hosted officials from the U.S. Mint in the Oval Office. You start realizing the power of these as symbols of who we are and what we're about. Who presented him with two medals, and on one the back for each term. says the most single powerful word in our democracy is the word we. You guys picked good quotes. Then from leadership from the National Archives to thank them for their service. <laughs> and on Wednesday, the last day of our last episode, the very last last, the president took to the podium in the Brady Press briefing room for his final news conference. Two minutes, sir. Uh -huh. Two minutes. That's been too much. I believe in this country. I believe in the American people. Uh, I believe that uh, people are more good than bad. Um, I believe tragic things happen. I think there's evil in the world. But I think that at the end of the day, if we work hard and if we're true to those things in us that feel true and feel right, that the world gets a little better each time. That's what this presidency has tried to be about.
Um, and I see that in the young people I've worked with. I couldn't be prouder of them. And so uh, this is not just a matter of no drama Obama. This is, this is what I really believe. It is true that behind closed doors I curse more than I do publicly. <laughs> and sometimes I get mad and frustrated like everybody else does. But at my core, I think we're going to be okay. We just have to fight for it. We have to work for it and not take it for granted. And I know that you will help us do that. Thank you very much, Press Corps. Good luck. Well, for the last time, let me just say it outright. <laughs> I, just, I just locked up. Thanks again for checking out this final edition of your West Wing Week. You guys aren't making funny faces. Come on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. You guys were terrible at making funny faces.